Representative Philip Dingree. Philip is in the news. He is represented from Georgia because he wants Americans' youth to be taught gender stereotypes in grade school classes so that they understand the roles of mothers and fathers and the importance of allowing only opposite-sex couples to marry. In a speech that he made Monday on the House floor, Gingry stressed his continued support of the DOMA, or Defense of Marriage Act, which defines marriage as a union between only a man or a woman, and he suggested that children need to be taught carefully about the traditional roles of their genders. Here's what he said. You know, maybe part of the problem is we need to go back into the schools at a very early age, maybe at the grade school level, and have a class for the young girls and have a class for the young boys and say, you know, this is what's important. This is what a father does that maybe is a little different, maybe a little better than the talents that a mother has in certain areas. You do the same thing for the young girls. You know, this is what a mom does. This is what's important from the standpoint of the union, which we call marriage. What do you think about this one, Richard? Uh, you know, I got to tell you, these are one of these things where I think these members that I think people that I find people that are homophobic like this. Off, what's his name? I don't even remember his name because it's irrelevant to my life. But Gingry. Off, remember Gingry. Uh, you know, they're probably, they probably are closeted, I mean, maybe, you know, people who are, I always think people that are really homophobic, they have, because it's because they have, they have homoerotic fantasies, but that's just me. Yeah, and we're actually, uh, we'll, we'll get deeper into, uh, a similar story like that later in the show, but yeah, I, I agree with you completely, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens with this DOMA ruling, any thoughts on that, Richard? Well, I think we have to wait, the Supreme Court has been showing a lot of leg, but there's been no cigar on this DOMA ruling. Um, I, also, I mean, it has to come next week, either Monday or Thursday. Uh, and, I mean, I think the courts will strike down DOMA. The question is, is what will they put in the remedy for DOMA? So they strike it down, but how would you resolve the issues of marriage? Do you resolve it at the state level? Is there a federal definition? How does the Obama administration play in all this? There's a lot of moving pieces depending upon how the Supreme Court makes the ruling. I'm with you on that one. I mean, the fact that... It's, it's just unbelievable that in 2013 there's even a bill called the Defense of Marriage Act. Um, well, but it was passed in the 90s. It just still exists. It still it happens to exist still, um, yes. which is absolutely crazy in my opinion. Um, so you have your first nominee here. This guy is a maniac in my book. Rep Phil Gingrey. He's a first-time political maniac on The Richard Fowler Show.